All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 27th of May, closing out another great month here in the year 2014 with one of my favorite wines, Quinterelli Amarone. We're doing a tasting here on Friday night, which is eh, sold out. I think we may have one seat left, only because we had a cancellation. We just confirmed everybody. You know, we like to keep things small here for our once-in-a-lifetime events. Only 15 seats available here in the back room at the Wine Watch. So should be a fantastic evening. Hey, we've got a lot of great stuff coming up. Two of our Camus events next week sold out at the Capitol Grill without even sending an email out. And then we've got Pally down at Michael Mina in the Fountain Blue, which should be going out tomorrow. we still got a few seats left for that. But, hey, it is summertime. In case you haven't noticed out there, get a little bit hot. And you know what the summertime means, barbecues, you're going to want something to drink, well, reasonably priced, you know, I mean, uh, you get some people coming over the house, maybe they like to put ice cubes in their wine, you don't want to serve them anything, your, your really good wine, like your Tresor, which uh, one of our favorite Bordeaux style blends here at the Wine Watch, we've already done an offering on the 2010 Tresor from Ferrari Carano Winery, and uh, today we're going to focus on two of their everyday wines that offer incredible value. Ferrari Carano has been around since the 80s. I believe 87 was the very first vintage Don and Rhonda Carano were in the casino business in Nevada. They uh, started that in the early 70s. And, hey, man, I've never seen more uh, mahogany and marble in a winery in our visit to Ferrari Carano. Let me tell you, the gardens there are absolutely spectacular. They are beautiful. The Caranos own 1,500 acres of vines in uh, throughout Northern California, mostly in Sonoma. And these guys have got an incredible uh, selection of vineyards to draw through to make their wines. And I believe they still even purchase some juice because uh, hey, you can't have you know you can't have enough grapes for all of your wines, can you? Well, uh, these guys have got you know two of the best values we have in the store here in their Fumé Blanc, uh, something perfect for summertime. And hey, it's got a screw cap on it. You don't even have to pull the car over to open this up. This wine has got lovely, wonderful melon fruit, uh, really light and crisp and refreshing. None of that grassiness that you get from these Sauvignon Blancs or Peppery Spice, a really uh, a refreshing style of white wine. And like I said, we love the packaging here, the screw cap. The Sienna is their uh, Sangiovese inspired blend. We're going to call it their you know, super Tuscan here. It's, it's got a little Malbec in it also, which is uh, very unique. You don't see Malbec in Tuscany. Well, for the most part, I think we just reviewed a wine with a little Malbec in it from Chianti, actually. But this wine's got Sangiovese Malbec and Cabernet in 2011, a cooler vintage. So uh, uh, very good for the Sangiovese varietal. This wine's got lovely blackberry raspberry fruit with a nice hint of cola, cinnamon, and vanilla spice here. This wine is an incredible little value at $15. The Sauvignon Blanc, or Fumé Blanc, rather, for $11 and change. Two great little values for the summertime. And, hey, we are going to put the 2010 Tresor. There's a little bit of that left, but not much. And, uh, unfortunately, not the same crazy price we sent it out earlier this year. And, hey, everything else that the Caranos have available here in South Florida, none of these wines will disappoint you. Everything in this offering Absolutely exceptional and very reasonably priced. Check out the Chardonnay. We got a great deal on that, the 2012 Sonoma. The first 10 vintages of that wine scored 90 points or higher in the Wine Spectator. Check it out. Everything we've got from Ferrari Carano Winery. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.